All right, so this one, we've been waiting for too too long. At least I am. Because, yeah, we checked the first trailer out a couple years ago. So since then, I haven't heard anything about this game. I'm not too sure if there was some other footage that released during this time frame. I have no idea. But in the first trailer, I literally said this was like a mishmash of a lot of the action games out there. Mainly like Devil May Cry. It reminded me a lot of that with everything else. God of War. God knows. So many of, of them. And it was like, yeah, it looked like it took like all the best parts of everything and put it all together. So here's another trailer. It's like, like almost six minutes. Six minutes of gameplay. So hopefully, hopefully it's good. And it's coming out pretty soon. So let's check this out. Stop worrying we know you you are It's actually made by Sony? Or is it a third party game? Oh, what? I think it is. It's a Sony thing. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins the costume, on man. Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Nativa has People forced are going to be doing the same thing they did with Nier Automata. If you know, you know. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source called Hypersound. Bayonetta! Stay cautious. I get that feeling too. the Alpha and is. So this must be 8 or 7. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. So what is going to be open Done. world? Something like the Xenoblade game? Different. Or more like Bayonetta, like really straightforward? This is Zion. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. Oh. City okay. The wasteland. okay. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. But I guess Eve there is an open world first, aspect to it. But will okay. gradually loosen up as Eve tools? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. And she has like so many costumes. Like every scene, they're Their showing off new costumes. Will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. There's like literally. This place has been Final a Fantasy inspiration in there too. And malfunctioning machines and robots. And you actually feel the Nair games in there too, like or near Nair. You will occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. I gotta say, man, her costumes belts. actually look really good. Can you tell they, they worked on them? <laughs> Upgrade equipment and more. The game is like a she realistic feeling a and an anime feeling. It's like a mix of both. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Nativa, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or... Oh, here we go. Something worse. So do the choices affect everything? The 
All Airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean, the extinction of all Nativas? Right? To think that the point of your That's existence... That's that Bayonetta is stuff right there. Species. It is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel. That's the unofficial name for members of the EVE Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. They have jiggle physics in there? And I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! I like it! I like the look! It's not trying to be over-realistic, and it's not completely like fantasy. It's like a perfect mirage of both. Stellar Blade. We're buying this. 100%. I love these kind of games, man. This is like right up my alley. All right. Well, that looked good. All right. That looked good in every way. It's, I, I, who knows? It's going to end up being great or not. And it's going to just feel like, oh, just another kind of ripoff or something. It does feel like inspired by so many things. Again, remind me of Bayonetta, reminds me of Devil May Cry. Those two, they really do. It, the world itself reminds me a part like Final Fantasy and even say like Borderlands, like the machines and everything and that story. So let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. And it, again, as I said before, it's a perfect mirage of anime. And like, you know, that realistic kind of designs that we usually see. It's like, it's in there. It's like fantasy, but it's not. It's like right there. I like it. I like it. But let's see. Let's see how it's going to play out. Uh, everything that we see, it definitely looks like they can be a success. And hopefully it is. Maybe we get a franchise out of this. Who knows? But so far, so good. Come April, we'll stream it. And we'll see for ourselves. Other than that, what do you all think about this? Are there any other videos that you saw in this game that maybe I should check out? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And yeah, that'll be it for now. I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Ta-da. A-cab. Hey,